This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, verse 18. Or unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created, bringing out either a fiery vapor or a filthy sense of sacred slakia, or filthy sense of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, all glory to God. Loyam, Loya, Habu, Ba Shimi, Awasha, Ba Shem, Rachago, that's with the thumb. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwat, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edifying lesson. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth to you. I say Shalom. Brother Yah, what's up out of the GMS Cleveland Church, fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through, through the spirit and through the power of Yah Bashim Yashai. Basically, I'm doing a quick lesson on um, an article I've seen. Um, I think it was on Google or my Yahoo's been messed up. Um, so uh, I was going to like look for something more significant, but this is significant. You know what I mean? I was listening to the elder. Yasha Wamba, um, yesterday he did a video, I can't recall the title, but he was speaking on how this man um, literally um, thinks he's going to do the new and approved, like the upgrade, you know what I mean? Like the Most High um, hadn't created um, things perfectly. You know, that made me think of another scripture. Um, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 45. Verse um, 9, woe to him that striveth with his maker. Let the pots herd strive with the pots herds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned what makest thou or thy work? He have no hands. And I know it's one in Romans as well. But um, basically, how is the clay going to tell the, the potter you formed me incorrectly or you didn't form me correctly? You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, the most high... If, if he gave you over to your foul affections, that's how he set it up. It's not, oh, you you were born and the most I got it wrong, put a, a, a female in a male body or vice versa. No, because of your wickedness, he gave you over to your foul affections. Um, you know, um, and through the power of Yah Bashim Yah you got people that will come about of that. Um, but for the most part, a lot of people, um, I, I've heard brothers make mention of it, and I've seen it and witnessed it with myself, for myself, you know, um, you know, I, I I knew a female that literally said she met a a, a a a female that basically one day just was making a big scene, um, caught herself um, being you know homosexual and then just breaking down in, in public, saying how she was doing wrong and you know she had to get right for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So call the law, you like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And the closer we get to this um, utter destruction, you're gonna have the closer. Or Salaki, the closer we get to this utter destruction, the more you're gonna have people coming back to re repentance. But um, it's a quick little article. Um, like I said, because um, it is relevant. I, I didn't mean to use those exact words. Um, all of this is relevant. Um, you know, uh, but I was trying to seek a little bit of something else. For whatever reason, our reason, my Yahoo hasn't working. So you know, what I mean, um, maybe it's. Working now, but I'm not for sure. It says scientists grew stem cell mini brains. Then the brains sort of developed eyes. <laughs> it says many brains grown in a lab from stem cells have spontaneously developed rudimentary eye structures. Scientists report in a fascinating new paper on tiny human derived brain or organ organoids grown in dishes to bilaterally sy sy symmetric Optic cups were seen to grow, mirroring the development of eye structures in human embryos. This incredible result will help us to better understand the process of eye differentiation and development as well as eye disease. And the point being, that's why I came out with that wisdom of Solomon as far as um, the um, beast newly created. Because at the end, they, it's the most high putting that on um, Esau E spirit to do these and devil delve this way but like um elder yashawan was speaking on he say uh, you know this science falsely so-called is um their religion you know what i mean you know that those are uh the elite's modern soothsayers and 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 and, 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 and the priesthood on the left hand side i mean don't get me wrong you got a priesthood that's literally praying to um uh, shantan and you know what i mean but for the most part they believe in science that's why you got all these people that's actually went and took this uh 
jab. They, they got jabbed up. They got punched in the mouth. But <laughs> hey, you go figure out that you got punched in the mouth when you start having these bad reactions. Like I said, your gut. If uh, otherwise the Lord just really want to kill you, if your gut. You I mean I know two third niggas that was like, oh no, that don't seem right. I'm cool. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Now the pressure is gonna. Um, basically, the Lord is going to put that pressure on everybody, you know, that hour of temptation, because we all going to be put in a position to choose what we're going to do. You know, um, that's what the book of Revelations talks about. Hours of, um, Revelations chapter 3 about the hour of temptation. We all going to be presented with that. But, you know, for the most part, if your, your spider sits one tingling, like, I mean, when have you known, not just in fact that they basically rewarding you if you take this or punishing you if you don't take it but at the same time when have you known just everything to have to stop the world like this you know you've had AIDS you've had all these different diseases that have never actually uh, changed the world like this and this is this is that new world order that's why they're literally saying it and on TV and whatnot. It's not that they're messing up or slipping up. And it's to a certain extent they tooting their own horn but also people don't understand how the mind works it's subliminal so they planting that seed of the new world order. Uh, you you hear here and there, and that's subliminally put in there. I remember one time um, Obama made the statement about we got Iron Man. I wonder how many people actually heard that. But if you actually delve or research anything, you'll find out that they actually got exoskeleton suits. You know what I mean? DARPA um, uh, basically um, did contracts with a number of different schools, and they came up with different um, designs for exoskeleton suits for the military. For what purpose? Who's to say? You know, then, of course, this is nothing new. They've been gene splicing. Our work and highlights the remarkable ability of the brain organoids to generate pr primitive sensory structures that are light sensitive and harbor cell types similar to those found in the body, said neuroscience scientist Jay Gal Gopal or Krishna of University Hospital Dus Dus. Dorf in Germany. These organoids can help to study brain eye interactions during embryo development, model congenital retinal disorders, and generate patent specific retinal cell types for personalized drug testing and transpo transportation therapies. And people take this devil as, um, oh yeah, well, he's really going to just use this to actually give the blind back their sight and, and whatnot. Well, in actuality, this man is the son of perdition, meaning when you go in that word, perdition is destruction. Everything he touches. Is, is, is it basically turns into death he weaponized everything from the food the water you know what i mean um the the food the water the air you know what i mean you know spraying of these chemtrails so you know at the end of the day he'll t figure out a way to actually make everybody blind or something you know? <laughs> like this motherfucker's really the devil and he, and he playing god i mean he the most high got him in a trip bag, trick bag but nonetheless you know it, it's a part of him playing god um bear with me for a second This is the book of uh, Ezekiel, chapter 28. I'm going to start at verse 1 because this is talking about uh, the Prince of Tyrese in the past, but it's also a twofold um, scripture because it's, it's literally going into um, the modern day Prince of Tyrese is this red Hebrew Edomite. The word of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the Prince of Tyrese, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh power, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Because this man wants to be worshipped as God. You know, when the ultimate uh, bringing of fruition, bringing this um, concept to fruition, will be once he actually implants these people with these chips. Because then, he will think um, he he's somewhat gang omnipotence. You know what I mean? He'll know where your every move is. You will have to rely on him to feed you, to allow you access, to do this, do that. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, this, you know, when you really sit back and meditate on it, you know, the elder Yashawamba literally made a statement yesterday, and I thought I was the only one that felt that way or thought that way. But in actuality, no, I, I mean, I already knew that from reading the scriptures. You had enough me. He said, but when you see, the, when you have the spiritual eye self and you can literally see, like, if you really are meant to be a seer, a prophet, you see the way the world is coming and what's about to happen. You know, when I was just recently incarcerated, I knew that those men and there was about to literally rebel and there's going to be a riot. And then, you know what I mean, one of the brothers literally 
came across it when they had footage of them really literally rebelling. You had to, they had to go shoot them with with rubber um, bullets, and they, you know, what I mean, because of the the conditions of that place, and it's only gonna get worse. So you should be able to see it, and that's just like with the condition of this place, trying to hold on to this place. With what, to what cost? You know, they got companies that's literally talking about you got to put cameras inside your house just to work there. Like, what the fuck? You know, you go into um, the brother, um, Itaza Wan from um, Men of Valor, just did a video about it, about that um, guy. He made um, the, he wrote the book um, A Brave New World, and he wrote the book The Island. But uh, Adolf Huxley, Adol now, I, I was already kind of familiar with this guy. I, I never really read his work out saw parts of the island, you know, but the point is he was an insider because he, you know, the things that he was writing about is the things that's coming to fruition now. It says, um, verse, um, three, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. And you see in that now, look, they're creating many brains and developing, eyes, but they don't know what they're doing either. You know what I mean? Like a lot of this shit is guesswork because, you know, like it's the most high really doing it because like when you go into, um, you got a, a way of bonding metals um, through explosives. I just found that out, and I'm, I'm familiar with welding. You know, you got multiple ways to bond metal and weld uh, metal together, but it's one that you can do with explosives. And they literally figured out how to do this through World War II by blowing shit up. Just like how the Wright brothers, they didn't know about lift and all that. They literally, that's why when you go into how many attempts they tried to do by actually flying, it was multiple ones, you know what I mean, to the point, but the Lord wanted that to happen. Take time to think about it. That's why, you know, they called him the prince of the power of the air. You know, who 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 started that? I think that was Esau. You know what I mean? Like, I know Jay created a lot of stuff, but certain things Esau did too. You know, he, and then Ephesians chapter 2 doesn't call him the prince of the power of the air for nothing. When you come to find out how America got to literally, you got to actually speak English and all that just to be a pilot. No matter if you a uh, North Korean pilot, no matter if you a uh, uh, Moabite pilot, no matter if you a um, Zemanite pilot. All of them got to actually know the, the language of English. Um, with thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By the great wisdom, by thy great wisdom and by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches. And thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. And at the end of the day, it tells you in scripture about how proud this man is. In the book of Obadiah, you know, uh, he's the proudest creature on the planet. Because creature just basically goes into creation. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, power because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of Yahweh. behold therefore i will bring strangers upon thee the terrible of the nations and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom and they shall defile thy brightness because at the end of the day this place is going to be taken down um by these other nations you know what i mean this place is going to be destroyed and that's in the scriptures in the book of revelations uh let me see is there one more i want to get yeah end it on the second Thessalonians because that's the point you know everything um the Lord, most high has a purpose for everything and the, the purpose of you know putting this man in power is to actually understand the power of Yahweh Shai and appreciate suffering so you can really appreciate um you know the he heaven or earth um this book of second Thessalonians chapter two starting at um I'm going to start at verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for the day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that day is, you talking about um, that day of Jacob's trouble, the day of um, the, the day, um, day of the Lord, you know. You know, we, we won't know that we're at the end until this, this, this son of perdition, which is Esau, Edom, be revealed. Um, who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. And who is the man on the earth want to pl play and splice with jeans and, you know, want to set up a system where he's everywhere? Where, like I said, literally how they're starting these stimulus packages and starting this UBI, because that's all that is, is the um, early stages in the test runs of universal basic income. And if we um, get our daily um, bread met by Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, this man is... This fucking red devil is trying to basically um, put himself in a position where you're relying on him. And that's the test. Are you going to trust in Yahweh Shimei Or 
or are you going to trust in this red Hebrew reader money? And you got, you know, our people went and trusted in Pharaoh. They begged to go back to Pharaoh. You're going to have that same thing today. That's why you, it talks about in the book of Zechariah, um, two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. Because you're going to have a lot of, you know, the elder Yashua was speaking on that, you know, um, I know I'm bouncing around a little bit, a lot going on. I'm trying to hurry up and get this video in. You got these anybody's watching me and shit. But who gives a fuck, you know, man? I'm just, you know, at the same time, they can watch me. I'm trying not to let them hear too much. But at the same time, it's through the spirit. If they meant to hear it, hear it. Your kingdom is slipping, you know what I'm saying? And no matter how much you try to hold on to it or um, how much you try to um, sabotage, you know what I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, this shit is falling, you know what I mean? And, and you can you can try to trust in your, your guns and your carnal, you know, at the end of the day, you know, no matter how many militias, all that Rambo shit going out the window, how how how, how a bullet gonna fight a spirit? But Salakia, it say, who opposeth and exalt himself above all that is called Yahweh, or that is worshipped, so that he as Yahweh sitteth in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself that he is Yahweh, because this man wants to be the Most High. Remember ye not that when I was with you. Remember. Ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what withholding that he might be revealed in this time. And this man is being revealed now. You know what I'm saying? Never have the prophecies been popping like popcorn and speaking the way they're speaking. You know what I mean? You know, and like the elder always says, the elder just made mention of He said, I mean, who's to say what this year is going to bring? But he said, very well, you know, um, the Lord could be coming back next year. He could be coming back. This, well, it's still certain things that got to play out. And I, that's why I understand why he said maybe next year. You know, but best believe we're going to end this year on a doozy. You know, and, and brothers that's really in the spirit and in the truth and really wholeheartedly, you know, you know, in this thing, you know, because you got brothers up there really like just, I mean, watch how certain brothers is just putting out video after video. You got brothers doing three, four videos a day. Well, uh, you know, I, I'm sure this, this place is going to end on something that's going to actually push prophecy. For the mystery of iniquity, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Verse 9, even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And this is the scripture that the elder Yahshua was speaking on. You know, he's going to come into the power of Shantan. You know, he coming with these miracles. You know what I mean? It's a miracle to put Elon Musk to create a, a, a neural link that will put, um, connect to your, uh, what's that, to your um, nervous system and, and, and give you back feeling so you can be able to walk again. That's, a, you know, a lying wonder. But at the same time, you got to, you got to, you got to. You know, it's like I just recently did a video about uh, the CDC and, you know, um, the, the the syphilis experiment, the Tuskegee syphilis experiment. When you come to think about this as a so-called black man, as a, a as a Jake man, as a as an Israelite man and a.k.a. America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. After knowing what they did to your forefathers, why the fuck would you even, I mean, I know I'm not, you know, Lord willingly, he keep that spirit on me to refuse like so this is this is the same organization that did this study. So why the fuck would I trust y'all? Verse 10, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Because at the end of the day, most of our people, the two-thirds, um, they will not receive the love of the truth. Verse 11, and for this cause, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Verse 12, that they all might be damned to believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So, you know, you, you two-thirds and you heathens, you, you're going to be destroyed, you know what I mean? It is no saving, you know what I mean? All, I mean, like I said, the the, 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 the righteous was um, formed from the beginning of the earth, just like the wicked was formed from the beginning of the earth. So, like, I was just listening to Apostle Tahar, um, make a, he just did a video, I forgot the name of it, but he was talking about how we are not supposed to have fellowship with the unrighteous, roughly paraphrased. He was like, with people like Sonetta and Polite, these men, you know what I mean, you, you ain't supposed to, you know, once you give them the truth and they reject it, you ain't supposed to, it, it talks about not being unevenly yoked with unbelievers in the scriptures. You know what I mean? Like the elder said, I mean, you uh, you know, uh, if they can't get it, we moving on. Because at the end of the day, we seeking our reward. You know what I mean? You know, a lot of brothers went through a lot of shit. A lot of trials and tribulations 
through this thing. And it makes a lot of sense. It's easy to say it after the fact when you got the hell off, off of you a little bit. But, you know, at the same time, I understand what the Lord is doing and why he's doing it. You know, the elder Yashawamba made a beautiful point. He said, sometimes the Lord is going to have to test you and take you through certain things. He was like, for the Lord to sh um, make manifest his power, you're going to have to go through some stuff. The, the, we take time, and when he said it, it clicked so deep because, you know, when you think of the story of Exodus, it literally, you know, you think that was a fun time for Israel? No. <laughs> but yet still, though, it took for them to be terrified and be catching hell for them to literally be delivered in that magnificent way. And look, I mean, you know, but this man literally talking about you going to have to be outside and wear a mask to take a drink. <laughs> this motherfucker going crazy. Why? I mean, like I say, so if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar, any West, any or Haitian, I'll probably come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of y'all watching y'all shot because these prophecies are going to continue to keep on speaking and things are going to continue to continuously keep on happening. Think about it. Like you got all these Afghan refugees that's going to pop up in America. We, a brother put something in our group chat talking about some Cleveland is ready for these uh, refugees. So when they do a terrorist attack, you know, uh, when they do a psych op and then try to blame it on them, then what? You people are so simple. Um, so call hello, you like y'all about Shimei Shah. May something happen where you know you scare the shit out of these people and kill some of these fucking wicked ass people, and you know what I mean, and bring prophecy. So with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call hello, you like y'all about Shimei Shah. By Shimmer Hakko does for thumb, double honest to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. The Lord willingly was edified. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth to you. I say Shalom. So next time, Lord willing, I'm able to come up with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom, and Wath Lababoa. Shalom.